Hello everyone, long time no see, long time no talk. Um, I'm back again to drop another video and in the new year I am definitely praying and planning to be more consistent. Matter of fact, that's actually what I wanted to speak to y'all about today to give a little bit um, of some of what I've been experiencing and what I believe the Lord has been teaching me. Um, so I don't want to prolong this too long. I just want to speak, you know, mostly to my young ladies. I'm trying to develop my um, my target audience, and I feel for like what I'm pushing, what I'm um, working towards, or what I have in mind, or what's on my heart is to work with young ladies like about 11 to 17 or 8 to I, I like young, not you know. 18 and up or anything like that but like the the young the babies i know y'all aren't babies but just younger you know especially at an adolescent stage and preteen and th different things like that but anyway i first wanted to um i want to give an anchor scripture for today and it's going to come out of jeremiah 1 and 12 and i have it written out on my little note card, note card because i'm trying to better my bible memorization but um oh i'm sorry this is definitely not uh oh and i should know this scripture because this has been my anchor scripture since before moving to texas what the lord was kept putting on um uh, in front of my eyes but it's mark 2 chapter 2 verse 22 and it's and no one puts new wine into old wine skins if he does the wine will burst the skins and the wine is destroyed and so are the skins but new wine is for fresh wine skins so that has been um, a scripture that i have been seeing over and over since before i left for george from georgia to move to texas and it's what i've been holding on to every time i want to slip back into old habits like um, just getting a job and working a job just to provide and being self-sufficient and hustling and whatnot to because my circumstances don't look how I want it to that's the scripture that I've been getting to or when I find myself attaching myself too quickly to people when the Lord in this season is you know calling me to move steadily and make sure I look for the fruit in people to make sure that you know this these people are aligned with him first and so that to see if we are even equally yoked for friendship or community and things like that but i keep coming back to that scripture and so what the wisdom that i've gained over the past couple weeks y'all one it was it started with conviction um and my heart was a bit pierced and a little bit saddened because i had to come to the right the realization that I was being lazy and that in certain parts I was being lazy and in other parts y'all I was being so ignorant and I had to really really truly accept and understand that the enemy loves when you are ignorant and ignorant the the definition is that being unaware of things being unaware and the bible speaks in proverbs in different places about knowledge and about wisdom and about gaining understanding and gaining wisdom gaining knowledge and things like that so we know that the lord wants us and the lord also instructs us in the bible to seek to ask to you know search for things and whatnot to knock on the door and it'll be open so we know that the lord wants to reveal things to his children and wants us to be in knowledge and wants us to have wisdom um and not to move in ignorance and not to be like oh whatever it's okay I, it's just whatever and i came to the conclusion that that's what i was doing i was moving in ignorance and just going on with life and just accepting the what the foundation that was built in my life when it came to the lord i was just staying right there instead of trying to grow higher because growing higher means that you have to put in a, a, a bit more work you know to whom much is given much is required so if you want to go higher more is going to be asked or demanded of you so it's going to require you to do a little bit more work so that's what i wanted to come and talk to you guys today about you know we are thank god he has kept us if you're seeing this hearing this he has kept you from 
the time you came out of your mother's womb until now. It's 20, the end of 2023. The new year is in a couple of days. And I just wanted to speak on goal planning and going after what the Lord is, the desires he has put in your heart and what he has asked you, what he put inside of you. It's time for that to come out. And he gives us the desire. He'll plan out your footsteps. But what's the point if you're not actually picking up your foot to walk? Okay, so what I mean by that is I have had the desire to, you know, be a speaker, to mentor young ladies, to eventually have a mentorship program and a lot of different things. I desired a lot to be, to have different streams of income and whatnot. However, I kind of, I would make these declarations of I want this I want this I want that and I'll say I have faith that God will you know will make this happen and whatnot but my works wasn't aligning with that and it wasn't even if the work that I did put in it was very short-lived until I was just like oh it's not happening let me let it go or oh I'm you know feeling so bogged down by life let me let it go so there are a couple of tips that I want to give is one if, if, if you are trying to pursue something that the Lord has called you to, you have to make like action steps. Steps is like, okay, I want to write a book. So if the Lord has put on your heart to write a book, you need to start, you need to start planning and start moving forward. Okay, what is the book going to be about? I'm going to, you know, maybe look up YouTube videos on how people got started writing their books or, you know, some common tips for writing books or, you know, what to do when writer's block happens or whatnot. I'm going to dedicate one to two hours a day, even if you can only start at 30 minutes. I'm going to dedicate time to either write it down or start typing it. And maybe, you know, you'll start typing it and you won't be very, very, it won't be very punctuated and, you know, super, um, what's the word like edited or anything maybe you're just typing 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 and you know you'll go back later and you'll edit and different things like that but to get the ball started you know you inquire about certain things maybe the local library has a book writing class or a, a fictional fiction writing class or something like that excuse my little ashiness y'all but what are you have to take steps you have to plan and make action you can't just say i want to write a book i feel like god is calling me to write a book and then that's it because nowadays there are so many free resources there are so many free resources you want to you know make an ebook you don't really want to do a physical book you can do that you you know want to design your own cover you can go on canva with a free account you know, there's so many different resources available to us. You want to be a content creator. Okay, well, what type of content do you want to do? Search up, you know, the kind of content that you want to do. You know, if you want to do beauty or teaching something or wh whatever, look up different content. Find different content creators that, that you like and you enjoy their content and start to plan. Don't worry about being perfect, which is something that has stopped me from doing this, what I'm doing right now on this camera. I kept saying, oh, I need lighting. Oh, I need, you know, a pretty backdrop. Oh, I need, you know, a Canon or a Sony or Nikon, whatever, all the different cameras and I need a setup. This is being filmed off of a old Android phone, y'all old and android i'm just you know let me stop boo-booing on androids nothing is wrong with androids i enjoy my android y'all but i'm taking the little things that i do have and i'm using it i'm using it y'all so don't be worried about being perfect because then you will not get started because the circumstance will never ever be perfect it will never be perfect when i decided that i was going to moved to Texas when the Lord put it on my heart and I sought him and I got confirmation and whatnot, everything aligned so easily. So it, it felt, it was perfect. That's what I would say it was perfect. You know, I had the money to do this or if I didn't have the money, it was for something that I didn't really need right then, but things had lined up. And when I got here, y'all, things, while things had started out being perfect, as I got here, 
things didn't go how I wanted to wanted it to go. But I'm not going to say, okay, well, I quit. I'm going to move back to Georgia. No, there's a reason why the Lord had me come here. And like I said, everything, every circumstance is not going to be perfect. But even in this moment now, I'm sitting in my um, living room. I It still has not been furnished. I don't, and I've been here since October. Yeah, earlier in October. And it's not the end of the year. Everything is still not furnished. I've had to... I've watched um, testimony videos of people saying, oh, you know, God moved me to, to here to here. And within two weeks, I got a job and got my place furnished. And I'm like, my Lord, what about me? But like I said, everything is not going to be how you want. It's not going to be perfect. So you just have to take a step. The Lord delights. The word talk about the word the word talks about how the Lord delights to see the work begins and not to despise humble beginnings because a lot of the people um, that you see on YouTube or different things like that now, one of my favorite things to do actually is going on YouTube, looking at very popular um, YouTubers. One that I do it every once in a while to encourage myself is I go to Jackie Ina and I don't watch her content because I'm not really a makeup girly like that but i go to her page or any other vlogger that i like and i click the oldest when you go to the videos the tab that says oldest and i go back and i'm seeing jackie and you know all that she has now but where she first started was you know pictures of her doing makeup there was no actual video of her applying she would just put up a black screen that says place the eyeshadow here and then she would do um put another photo with the eyeshadow in the place that she says to put it in it was no video there was no real production no lights no you know fancy stuff so you just have to get started so really and truly that is my whole goal for this video is to let you know that you have to plan you have to plan and also you have to scatter different seeds you can't just Throw one, leave it, and hope and pray that it, no, 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 it doesn't work like that. And I hope I don't sound mean, but this is to myself as well. For all the years that I spent, you know, tossing something out and hoping and praying that it sticks, it lands, it works, it grows, it blooms, and wasting time, I don't want that for you. One thing I will say, um... Because this year for me hasn't been like a total waste or anything. But one thing that was very big for me was losing weight because I did not want to lose my life to diseases, chronic illnesses, anything like that. Heart attacks and I didn't want to do that. And also for aesthetic reasons, I wanted to feel beautiful. I wanted to feel, I wanted to feel confident in my body. So last year I invested in a personal trainer. And he was inexpensive for uh, in comparison to other trainers that I saw. And it wasn't easy. I didn't have all the workout, the cute workout gear. I didn't have the, you know, oxy shreds. Well, I, I started buying it, but I didn't have it at first. I didn't have the, I, I was going in there looking busted, looking busted. And I started, when I started with him, I was about 270 something pounds. I'm a tall girl, by the way, so don't judge me, please. I was like 271 pounds. And now I had worked with him from fall of 2022 and uh, up until basically I left to come to here. So a little bit over a year. Um, and y'all, I invested in that. I prayed and asked God to change my taste buds to help me, you know, love fitness. And I began to love going to his classes. I loved going to his classes. Like if somebody was like, hey, can you stay late? Um, somebody didn't come in for work. Uh, sorry, I'm, I'm, I got to go work out. Like I was not playing around. But anyway, from then to working out this whole year and even when I couldn't afford to go to him or even now that I'm not able to go physically because he's in Georgia, I, I still kept my uh, use what he taught to go and exercise and y'all now i'm in the 230s like i've lost in this what year i've lost like 30 pounds y'all 30 ish 30 and some pounds <sighs> but yeah 
It's because I put in the work and I said, okay, I want this. And I actually put in the work. Even when there were times when I was like, I'm not losing any weight. There was a time when I went up in weight and I was like, this is not, this is not it. And that was after me, six, seven months of me working out with him. But uh, I stuck with it. I changed my habits and I asked the Lord for guidance. And that look, I'm, I feel a lot happier in my body. And now, you know, I get to make different goals. But for years, y'all, my goal has been I'm going to lose 30 pounds. And I did not lose 30 pounds. I did not lose any, I did not lose weight like that. I did not. Because I just said I was going to, but then I didn't make any action plans. Okay, well, are you going to meal prep? Are you going to at least go take a walk, you know, a couple times a week? Or, like, what are you going to do? So you have to put in, you have to sit down and plan. So before the year is done, before the year is done, I pray this reach, reaches whoever it needs to. Sit down. Pray first. Ask the Lord for guidance. Thank him for this year. And ask him what does he desire of you for the next year and then plan out the things that he told you to do this year that you didn't do and the things that he's telling you to do and sit and make a plan make it your personal mission before you talk about you know buying your your house if they, unless that's what he has for you before you talk about you know doing all sorts of things that is just based on what you want your desires See what he desires first and seek his kingdom first is what the word says. Seek his kingdom first. Seek first the kingdom. See what he wants you to do first and make it your mission. Make it your goal to accomplish it this coming year. So that's really all I had. I will talk to y'all later. And like I said, I'm trying to become more consistent because this is something I've been wanting to do forever and it's been put on my heart for the longest time. And so I don't want to... You know, I don't want to falter on that. I don't want to go back on that. But anyway, I love y'all and I pray y'all have a um, great rest of your week and happy New Year's. God bless us. But yeah, anyway, bye.